Hey guys, Naked Teacher here, letting you know that this lesson will be based on the OUG8 sound. How many sounds does it actually make? Well, you're about to find out. So, let's begin. It's your boy, the Naked Teacher here, reporting live from Novosibirsk and broadcasting around the world thanks to YouTube. Today we're going to have another interesting lesson. This one is going to be based on pronunciation. I know a lot of people who are learning English, they're very sensitive about their accents. They're like, hey Phil, how can I sound more like a native speaker? What should I do? Should I listen to music, watch movies? Sure, all those things help, but not just that. I'm going to make a lot of lessons as a naked teacher on pronunciation to help you out with your accent. If you want to sound more like an American, that is what I'm here to help you with. So this is going to be a quick lesson. It won't be that long, so let's get to it. Maybe you have some more important stuff to do. Okay, look at these four letters right here. O-U-G-H. What sound does it make when they come together? Pronounce this right here. Go ahead, pronounce it. Is it O? Is it Alga? Is it Ogi? Is it Ach? What sounds does it make? Maybe one? Maybe three? Maybe six? Who knows how many different ways there are to pronounce this? Well, in American English, we have a few. And I will teach you the most common ones. The ones that are basically the most important. So, let's get to it, okay? I got my handy dandy little book right here. My handy dandy book. You know, it's kind of it's kind of girly a little, but I like it. Screw you guys. I like it. It has a tiger, a porcupine, has a giraffe, a goat, a panda, and a bird. It's really cool. All right, so let's get to it. Let's start with this word. This is number one. One sound it makes. R-O-U-G-H. The, do any of you out there know how to pronounce this word? What does that word sound like when it's pronounced properly? Hmm. Well, this word is pronounced rough. Rough. Now, just in case you don't know what rough is, rough is basically not soft. So, for example, um, <clears throat> my beard is very rough. My beard is very rough. But on a girl's face, it's not rough. It's only skin, so it's soft. You know, people... In American English say soft as a baby's butt because you know when a baby is born they have very very soft skin it's very pleasant my skin isn't very soft and my my hands right here are very rough because I go to the gym so a woman's legs they should be nice and soft a man's legs they're usually rough as hell you understand so that's rough and in this word what sound does O-U-G-H make? It makes the uff sound. So we have one, boo yow, uff. There goes one. Let's try another one, okay? Let's try. What sound does this word make? Hmm? What sound does this word make? Do you know this word? Well, I'll pronounce it for you, just in case you don't. It's plow, plow. So what sound is O-U-G-H making in this word? It's ow, all right, just ow. It's ow, so that's two. Rough, then we have plow. A plow is something that moves snow. It's like a truck with this thing in front of it and it moves the snow away, blah, blah, blah. Am I dancing right now a little bit? So that's plow. So we have two, off and ow. Let's get to the next one. And the next one I have for you guys today is this word. What sound does O-U-G-H make there? Hmm. Bing, 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 bing. Well, it's through. Ooh. Ooh. There's actually a very popular, well, it was popular. There's actually a, a song that was very popular by a girl named uh, Young M.A. And the song is called Ooh. And she could have spelled it like this. Like when I first heard the song Ooh, I was like, damn, I know she probably spelled it O-O-U-U -U or something. But she should have made it 
O U G H. So when people like read the name of the song, they wouldn't know how to say it. They'd be like, "There's a new song called either Uff Ow Oo or something." But she definitely should have spelled it O U G H. I hope you're watching this video, Young M A. I'm very creative. I can work with you, make some money together. All right. Next one. So we have Uff Ow Oo. Next one is this word, and this one is important. If you've been to New York City, you should know this. If you've been to New York City, we have five of these in New York City. All five of these together make New York City one. So there's Brooklyn, there's the Bronx, there's Queens, Staten Island. Sometimes I look at the screen. Sorry. There's screen. Uh, the screen. Let's start over. Brooklyn, the Bronx, Queens, Staten Island, and Manhattan. All five of these make what? What do they make? Those are the five boroughs of New York City. Those are the five boroughs of New York City. And there it makes the sound O. Those are the five boroughs of New York City. So borough. The borough I'm from is Brooklyn. I'm from Brooklyn. But I used to live in Queens for some time in Queensbridge uh, project buildings. I lived there for maybe four years. Uh, then I moved to Russia. So from Brooklyn to Queens to Russia and eventually Nova Sibiris. So now we have four. Is there more? Is this it? There's actually more, okay? So let's get to number five. All right, next word is this. Does anyone know how to pronounce this word? It's a very funny looking word. It's a very funny looking word, but this is basically, <laughs> you know, like when, usually when you're eating, you <laughs> and you gotta drink water. That's what this is. How do you pronounce that word? Well, it's pronounced hiccup. Hiccup, like up. Like, where's the P at? But it's still hiccup. So here you got up. Crazy. Hiccup. So now we have five. Uff, ow, oo, o, and up. And we still have more to go. What the fuck? Okay, no. Let's go to number six. And number six is... A word that should be common. You guys should know this word. What this is passive thinking. So it's kind of almost like saying I was thinking about it, or I could say I blank about it. What is this? Well, this is thought. Thought. And what sound is it making in thought? Well, in thought is making the aw sound. Thought. So don't confuse all with ow. They're different. All, ow. Plow, thought. They are different. And if you have problems making a TH sound, don't worry about it. You know I'm going to make a special video as a naked teacher just for that because the naked teacher said so. All right? So, number seven. There's actually another. There's number seven. There is a number seven. Now, this one. This one, unlike the other ones, isn't too, um, it's not too common, so to say, but I want to give it to you anyway. Okay. I'm not going to say what it is. Now, do you recognize this word? Do any of you recognize this word here? Do you know how to pronounce it? Well, this is a very special word. It is a very, very special word. It's a normal word, but it has something very special in its pronunciation. Okay? This is usually pronounced thoroughly. 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 Ah. Thoroughly. Did you do that thoroughly? I don't think you did it thoroughly. You should do it again. You, didn't, you did not do that thoroughly. Do it one more time. And if it looks like you did it thoroughly to me, I'll let you be free so to say, okay? Thoroughly. Now, this one isn't always used, that uh. But most people in New York wouldn't say, they would say thorough. If there's no lead, we'll say, yo, that's thorough. That's thorough. I like that. That's thorough. But usually when it has the lee after it, it's, oh, that's pretty thoroughly done. Ah, uh, thoroughly. Now, there's actually another. I don't know how I missed it. Let's see what I missed. We got uff, we got ow, we got oo, we got o, we got up. Ah, oh, I see what I missed. And there's one more that's very common. This one is common. And what is this? 
This is this. <coughs> Damn, my throat kind of hurts. What sound does it make in that word? C-O-U-G-H. Well, this one is off. Off. That is off. Cough. Cough. <coughs> that is coughing. So here, the naked teacher says eight. Now, you may watch some other videos and read in other places that there's more than eight. Not really. Those other ones that they mention, like Ak, that's not even American. That's like Irish. And what's the other one they mentioned? Like Ooh, that's com. That's rarely ever used. But there might be more. But these are the most commonly used eight sounds. The other ones, I promise you, are not important. You're not missing anything if you're learning American English, because in the, with the Irish and stuff, they really use that Ak sound, like Loch Ness monster or whatever it may be. But we really ever use those other sounds that some other teachers teach you about. So remember, the naked teacher says there's only eight really important sounds in American English. Promise, okay? So there you go. But one thing I want you guys to notice about this is I already told you I'm going to make a video on the TH sound. One of these words I wanted to teach something else. I guess not. I guess it's pretty good. We got the, oh yes, yes, yes. Ah. Uh, Thoroughly. Thoroughly is up because it's actually getting the, you guys might know this, the sound, um, I'll just show you, maybe you don't know it. I forgot, I'm a new person. Uh, schwa? I forgot how to spell it. But the schwa sound, there might be a C there. L let me correct it. I will make a video on this, but if I remember correctly, it is called the schwa sound. And I'm going to make another video because today I'm making five videos. And one of those videos will include the schwa sound, which is what O-U-G-H get in this word. It's getting the schwa sound. So what is the schwa sound? Hey, coming up today. And if you're not watching this video on the day in which I make it, just look on my YouTube page. You should see it right there. Okay. So one more time before we go, rough plow through burrow, hiccup, thought, thoroughly, and <coughs> cough. And yeah, that's basically it, guys. You know what's funny to me before I go? Whenever I look it through, for some reason, I think I've been in Russia for too long. Because whenever I look it through, I first think thruff. I don't know why. I, like, I looked at it just now, and I was like, thruff? No, it's through. But for some reason to me, it just looks like there should be two O's or something. It's weird. But... There you go, guys. That's the end of the lesson for today. And as I always say, I'm here in the Novosibirsk, Novosibirsk area, somewhere in Russia, it's really cold. If you're in the area and you want to attend some speaking clubs to practice your English, just contact me on my Instagram or on my VK. And if you'd like for me to visit your university or any big business like that, just contact me on my Instagram or my VK. And of course, I can wear a shirt. This is just for you two. I'm going to say that every video. I don't want people to think I'm saying, yeah, invite me to your school and I'll come naked. No, I'll wear a shirt. I'll also wear the tie and the hat, but I will wear a shirt, okay? So, that's basically it, guys. Thanks, and another video coming right up. I'm making five videos today, but I'm, I'm going to change the hat and tie. <laughs>